Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. I'm here to do a really quick um, project share with you. I was watching Christian from Christian's Crafty Adventures on YouTube. She was doing a live stream last night for this little vinyl um, mini back shaker backpack. And I thought it was so cute, so I stuck around for the whole live stream and decided that I wanted to make one. So she used this vinyl. She got it from Walmart. I already had some and I got mine from um, Hobby Lobby and it is on a roll and it's right here, this polished clear vinyl. So uh, you can get it at either Walmart or Hobby Lobby. And of course it is clear. That's what it looks like. Can't show you the whole thing, it's too long. And she used sequins. There it is. It is a shaker mini backpack. So this is what it is. I'm going to show it to you real quick. I used the, the Bloom Collection from Maggie Holmes. And you guys, this was really easy to make. Um, the only issue I had was my thread kept breaking with the vinyl. So I went out to Joanne today and I got some different thread because the one I had was really flimsy. So that was the only issue I had was sewing the vinyl, the thread kept breaking. So other than that, everything else went smoothly. I followed her directions for the base, it was like five by three, and then the rest I pretty much improvised myself. So I, I also um, sewed on the paper itself. I sewed all around here too, all the way around and I added, oh yeah, and I sewed on the straps as well. I added this little bling gem. This bead here I got from the beads factory in Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles. So that's a dangle that I made. And then one of these little green tassels from Maggie Holmes. And I added these three enamel dots, and this is the last sequin bow that I have in my stash that's gold. I need to get some more of those. And what I did was for these pieces here, I used the pieces from um, the Maggie Holmes sticker book. This one here and this one here. I actually fussy cut around this one because this is a clear sticker. It says lovely. And then this one was a piece of ephemera that I had in my stash. I used one of these bows here that's from some nail art pieces, and that's the last one I have as well. I added this crown to the top of the swan, and then I added these two ribbon roses. And then my shaker mix inside. So it was really cute. Love this project. You guys should check out her video. She has it posted up on her channel right now. If you guys are interested, oh, of course, I have the handle here. I, I have these pictures posted on my Instagram, but I did not. I just added these gold gems on the top. And then, of course, it has a Velcro opening. And that's the inside. And that's it. I love the way it turned out. Super cute. You guys can check out more details on my Instagram, also Solo Crafts, and I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys stay healthy and have a great day. Bye-bye.